Am I the butthole for telling my daughter to stop crying because this wasn't about her? I have a 28-year-old daughter and a 33-year-old son. I remarried one year ago to my wife, 30 female, and I had told her while dating that I was in my 60s and wasn't aiming to have more kids. For the past few weeks, my wife had started acting strange and said she felt sick and tired. The other day my wife and I were visiting my daughter and her boyfriend who just got an apartment together. My wife was on edge the whole time. Finally, she blurted out that she found out that she's pregnant. She looked apprehensive so I asked why she was treating this like bad news. She said she wasn't sure how I'd feel about the news. So I told her that it was unexpected but that especially recently I've come to really value children in a way that I couldn't when I was younger and was either away from home altogether or working 13 hour days, 6 days a week. I told her that my business is very much hands off now and this time around, I have time and resources and am so excited to devote that to our child. And that I would do everything to make our child the happiest child with the happiest family. My daughter was in the adjacent room but I didn't notice that she had walked in. She started sniffing and when I asked what's wrong she started full on crying. She curtly said congratulations and started walking out. I caught up with her in the hallway and she spun around and said great to see that you finally. Calm down dad if only it happened 25 years ago and not just because of age. I told her that I was only trying to make my wife feel better and she didn't have to cry and yell because this wasn't about her. This was about letting an anxious woman I love know that she and her child would want for nothing and worry about nothing. She looked furious and said yeah this is about a kid who is going to get a chill, indulgent dad and a happy mom because he got him the second time around. After that, my wife and I left because we knew we weren't welcome at the moment. Am I the butthole for defending what I said and for telling my daughter that this really has nothing to do with her and everything to do with a baby I intend to be a great dad to? Uda. Yes, you were just trying to make your wife feel better, but in the process you insinuated that this child would be more loved and wanted than your daughter was, within earshot of her. I bet that stung. She wanted to talk to you about how her feelings were hurt. You should have said you were sorry, her feelings are valid that you didn't mean to hurt her feelings and that you were just trying to make your wife feel better. Instead, you immediately dismissed her very rational feelings, when you're the one who said the very tasteless thing in your daughter's home. When someone is telling you, their feelings are hurt, it's crazy mean and insensitive to tell them why they shouldn't be. And the old your wife is the same age as your children. It's even worse, one of his children is actually older than his wife, like, what the actual f? His oldest son was just turning three when his now wife was born. Insane. Edit, didn't expect this to get so many replies slash upvotes in the first place but thanks to this thread I was reminded of the hilarious meet your second wife SNL sketch lol. Imagine taking your infant to daycare, looking around, and being like I will marry that one in 30 years. Ah, the old president Grover Cleveland. Your comment led me to do a quick Google search. EWW is an understatement. Literally robbing the cradle, yuck. What happened? Google just showed up his achievements in politics, an illegitimate child, and a brain tumor. Nothing screams EWW, what am I missing here, embarrassed smiley face. Google Francis Cleveland. Essentially he was close friends with her father and doted on her from her infancy, when he was 27, onwards, buying her toys and a stroller and so on. When her dad died, Grover took over the estate and then proposed Frances when she was barely out of her teens and he was in his 40s. That is actually worse than Jacob imprinting on Reams in the Twilight books. Seriously. I do not understand how guys can be like yup, that's one effable baby. That's some next level grooming. Vomitrocious. It would be like if all the Cullens died and Jacob took over responsibility for overseeing her upbringing, then immediately marrying her when she was of legal age. But just as gross as his friend that imprinted on a three-year-old. At least with Jacob she ages into an adult body at seven. Fifteen years of direct grooming from seeing her all day, every day, unless the tribe, girl is okay with getting boned sooner. So what I remember is Grover Cleveland was a bachelor when he got elected. At first, his sister served in the role of first lady. He had a friend named Oscar Folsom, before being president. Grover Cleveland met his future wife when she was an infant and he was 27 years old. 
He was fond of her, buying her a baby carriage and doting on her as she grew up. When her father died in a carriage accident on July 23, 1875, without having written a will, the court appointed Cleveland administrator of his estate. Fast forward 10 years, the widow of Oscar and the 19? Year old Francis visit Cleveland and Washington. People think he's going to marry the widow but to people's surprise, he marries Francis instead when she's 21 and he's 49. Of course, before the marriage, the widow slash mom sends her daughter to Europe for a year and Cleveland and Francis were communicating during this time. Saw two sources where one said the mom knew and the other said the mom didn't so besides the age difference this marriage was unusual because Cleveland was the executor of Oscar Folsom's estate and had supervised Francis's upbringing after her father's death. And that's the story of the youngest American first lady. Also, the story of the only president to marry in the White House and second president to wed while in office. Or Woody Allen. As someone who has been dropping a child at daycare daily for the past five years, I just puked in my mouth, a lot. Are you ever going to pick them up? Where are you getting so many kids? Sometimes. She's puking in her mouth because she's pregnant again, making a kid a day is hard work. Also, why do these men that are 50 plus, say they are absolutely done with having kids but then marry women that are 20 to 30 and then they act surprised when their young wife wants to have kids? At this point, if you're old as F and marry a young woman, just expect you're going to be an elder dad. Look forward to spending your retirement and golden years parenting. Exactly. This kid will be in middle school and changing ops diapers, person shrugging, light brown skin, female sign, why not just veto dating women who are your kid's age or younger? That would have solved a lot of these issues. Why not just veto daring women who are your kid's age or younger? because then they wouldn't have a younger woman. Why not just veto daring women who are your kid's age or younger? Because women his age would be, wise to his creepy BS and wouldn't tolerate it. I wouldn't marry someone who is double my age but there are plenty of women who have decided to remain child-free. Including plenty in their 20s or 30s. It is more remarkable that these men don't take any precautions to avoid pregnancy on their own end. Like a vasectomy because hormonal birth control only takes you so far. With all the depravity, I'm seeing on Reddit, I'm rather relieved to see that thousands of users are against these age gaps that are nothing short of declaring complete emotional bankruptcy on both sides. Yes original poster is the butthole. Not only for that specific situation, for the entire constellation. FML. Someone else pointed out how no 30-year-old in her right mind f's a 60-year-old unless there's dollar involved, and how this baby is her insurance. This is obviously true, and the only reason young women go with old men. How this needs to be spelled out over and over and over again after decades still is beyond me. Funnily enough, two weeks or so ago there was a post by a supposed 30-year-old who was whining about how the children of her dead oldest F husband resented her. Pathetic. Thank you Reddit, for calling out what deserves to be called out is what I'm trying to say. Jesus F in Christ. My dad has an age gap like this and reversed his vasectomy to have a child with his new wife. His poor wife is working, taking care of my brother in the home and now my dad has Parkinson's and knees slash back in constant pain. It's horrific and I feel badly for all of them. I lost count of how many men 50 plus, tried to seriously date me, I'm 31 and child free, probably going to stay at 2. I simply boycott it. 10 to 12 years is the absolute max age gap anyone on this planet should ever be allowed to date in my honest opinion, and that's only once the younger person is in their 40s. In my model, age gap gets less and less the younger you are, down to 3 years max when in your teens. The end. I fully agree with what you're saying. Like you get a 70 yo dating a 80 yo that seems completely acceptable but as you work your way down to younger but with the same age gaps it just slowly gets worse sounding, 10 and 20. 17 and 27, etc., acceptable age gap 100%, should be only 2 to 3 years when teens and the gap slowly grows as aging. Don't put all the blame on the women. 18-year-old girls are fetishized and chased by these old men. I've had classmates get pregnant by 40-year-olds before graduating high school. Definitely agree. Original poster if you have the time now to be dad of the year, make sure you remember you have 3 children not 1. Just because your other kids are grown doesn't mean they don't deserve your time and attention. Well, four actually. 
His 30-year younger than him wife had plenty of chances to tell him she was pregnant before or after, but blurts it out at his daughter's home. Bad taste. That. She's known for however long, has plenty of time to tell him, but said it knowing damn well the original daughter would overhear. My heart hurts for her. Wow. She also could have waited until after they were done visiting. She was trying to cause drama. Seriously, what is the wife's problem? Besides, you know, being married to a senior citizen who has kids she could have been on a youth soccer team with and birthing his baby that he'll never see graduate from high school because he'll be dead from old age. This is probably also a fear of the adult children. They finally had time with dad, not only to have it taken away by an additional child. And when you're older and your parent has more kids it always feels like being replaced. Especially with a 28-year age gap, a stepmom her age, and an elderly father. What are the odds that original poster writes the other kids out of his will or dies before ensuring they will be cared for as well as his 30-year-old wife who managed to pretend she was apprehensive long enough for original poster to believe it? Very high. Either that or he hasn't got a will so the majority of the estate goes to next of kin, the wife. Even worse, it seems like the daughter didn't want to have the conversation. She left the room, and original poster followed her out to ask about it. Don't insist someone tell you what's wrong if you're not willing to hear their honest answer. Also kind of sounds like he wasn't a great dad to his older children, 13 hours days, didn't value children. It's nice that his new kid is going to get an invested father, but it's very normal for the older kids to be upset in those circumstances, internal voice going if you're capable of being a good dad, why couldn't you have been that for me? Right. It's a little hard to tell from the description, and I'm not sure original poster is a great judge, but it sounds like the daughter had walked in and accidentally heard this. Since she was already in the room, she tried to control her reaction and leave gracefully. It doesn't sound like she heard and then deliberately snuck in there to cry at him, which is how I kind of think he thinks it went down. It also sounds like the door was open between the two rooms, because he didn't notice her coming in. Hell there might not even have been a door. So it wasn't even like original poster and his wife went into the guest room and shut the door to have a private emergency conversation. They just started talking about this in an open area in her own apartment. And it wasn't even an emergency conversation. I'm sure Op's wife knew beforehand, why did she wait until they were anywhere but at home or somewhere else private to have that conversation? Kind of a dick move on the wife's part too. This. He basically admitted that he didn't value his daughter until recently. Almost to her own face. Let's also remember that wife decided to tell him while they were visiting his daughter. Not at home where they could talk about it freely, but while they were at his daughter's house, during a time that should be spent between him and his daughter, and his wife and his daughter's boyfriend, but you know what I mean. It seemed like wife wanted to take attention away from the daughter and she got it, he played right into it and even managed to fight with daughter. Got to say, I'm impressed with his wife. Uda and wife is TA as well. I was looking for this comment. There was no reason for the wife to spring this private conversation on him in his daughter's home unless she wanted the daughter's reaction. Original poster needs to make some serious amends to his kids. That's right. She chose a very, very inappropriate time for such a fraught disclosure. Just. Wow. Just standing in your husband's daughter's apartment? With that gigantic elephant in the middle of the room with them and nerves about how your husband will even take the news? For real? WTF. Very good summary. There was a similar post of a man whose wife was same age as his daughter. And he was incredulous why his daughter was upset when he told her that he was glad he could be a better dad in this marriage. The conversation happened while the young wife was buying things in some expensive stores for their kid and his daughter reminded him how he was extremely stingy with money when they were kids. Op is definitely Uda. I may be being unfair, but somehow I think Op's idea of being a better dad this time around means spending more money on the child, not necessarily changing diapers and helping with middle-of-the-night feedings. That's being a good dad. I was thinking of that post as I was reading this and wondered if this wasn't the same person, but they're different people. Or at least different accounts. Buddha. The way you made your wife feel better hurt your daughter's feelings as it made her feel you cared more about your new wife than you ever have about her. Unfortunately, 
This was compounded when your reaction to her upset was to prove that your wife's happiness is more important to you than your daughter's is. You, I am glad this time round, I will be a better father. Daughter, I am upset because you were not a good father and never acknowledged that to me. You, you don't matter. Your feelings are not important to me right now. What is important is my wife's feelings, because she is pregnant with a child I will actually love. That's what your daughter heard. Very well put. Refusing to acknowledge how you treated someone is death for a relationship. Also, the wife was just ridiculous making that announcement at his daughter's home. If she really thought, he was going to be unhappy why do it in a public setting like that. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that, I get it was stressing her out but I can think of tons of more private places to tell my partner I'm pregnant. Probably to prevent him from reacting poorly? To ensure everybody knows she's pregnant so she can't be pressured to discreetly do something about it. All of what original poster said could have been really cathartic to his daughter, too, if he'd said it to her directly, in a different tone. Finding out I'm having another child makes me think of all the opportunities I'll have this time around that I didn't have with you, and all the things I wish I'd done differently. I know that I XYZ, worked too much, was too strict, was checked out, etc., when you and your sibling were growing up and I want to try to do a better job this time. Yes. This. Original poster you're the butthole also tell your wife to grow some tact and not announce news like that to you when you are company in someone's house. Totally. But this would require self-awareness and an ability to empathize. The ops post suggests he is lacking in both of those areas. As is the wife, at least she and original poster seem to have something in common. I find it really hard to understand why the wife announced her news like that. It's either a power play vis-a-vis -vis her stepdaughter, or she is frightened of his reaction in a way that means she didn't want to be alone with him when she told him. Her tears suggest that the latter could be possible. Ideally, he'd follow that up with I am so sorry it took me so long to figure this out and that you and your brother had to pay the price for that. I want to try and make it up to you by being a better and more involved father now, if you'll let me. And he was in her home. Just to put more salt in the wounds. Uda yikes for so many reasons. I can see why you had to go after a woman half your age. There's so many red flags here it's kind of scary. She's the same age as his daughter and he just told said daughter, to her face, that he clearly plans to replace her and make the perfect family. His son is three years older than Op's wife is. The fact that his son was already three years old when his now wife was born sends an icy chill down my spine. Uck. Oh, my god I didn't even make that connection. So gross. Just think. Some other woman could be out there pregnant with wife number three right now, romantic face. Op you're revolting. Who marries someone younger than their damn kid? Gross pig and what a weirdo. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.